let's understand what is sciatica sciatic nerve is formed by many of the nerves in your low back and this nerve supplies your entire leg so when a disc herniates that is you have a disc problem in your low back this nerve is being affected hence it is called sciatica today let us know how a herniated disc that is a prolapsed intervertebral disc cause sciatica and how keyhole endoscopic spine surgery helps us in relieving it our spine is made of multiple small bones called vertebra so these vertebra are usually joined by a jelly like substance called disc these discs act as shock absorbers while we are doing a stressful work especially like lifting weights or bending and these are also very much helpful for our day to day movement like bending twisting bending backwards or bending forwards or sideways so let us understand what is this disc herniation is like we have already said these discs are like shock absorbers like any vehicle which you know if suddenly gets into a ditch all of a sudden there is a problem with the shock absorber right similarly if you are lifting weights or doing any unaccustomed work in an inappropriate posture probably your disc might also be forced to get hurt so this can lead to a disc prolapse that is the disc is getting burst and coming out yes if it comes out what lies next to it is the nerve so the moment the disc is out it pushes on to the nerve that means the nerve is being injured because of the disc which is coming out so this leads to sciatica so what happens when the disc is coming out as we said the disc which comes out pushes on to the nerve so the nerve which is now compromised wherever the nerve supplies you have shooting pain numbness tingling probably it might not allow you to sit stand or even walk for few steps most often these disc herniations may not require surgery but yes few patients who say that they are not able to sit stand or walk even for few steps or few people who say that even going to toilet is a problem probably these people are ideal candidates for surgery so what are the options we have for surgery if you have a disc problem yes traditionally there used to be open surgeries next came the micro surgeries like micro discectomy you are doing this surgery under microscope guidance but now we have the latest cutting edge technology called endoscopic spine surgery where you can go inside the spine using a sub millimeter incision with an endoscope and do the surgery and come out within no time do all disc herniations require surgery usually the people coming with disc problems like radiating pain to one of their legs or both the legs we usually treat them with medications exercises physiotherapy and probably sometimes we use epidural steroid injections also most of the patients get relieved with this but few patients who are not being relieved with these conservative methods probably may require surgery so what do we do in this endoscopic spine surgery this is the endoscope sub millimeter incision so we go through a very tiny incision in your back on the side of the pain we go in without cutting muscles without damaging the bone we go to the exact spot we remove the disc we completely relieve the nerve of the pressure causing by the disc the moment we remove the disc that nerve is completely off pressure and it functions normally so why endoscopy so in endoscopy as we have said we use less than 1 cm incisions it is hardly any incision it is more or less like a scarless surgery so you just go through a very tiny hole using the camera on a very big screen you visualize the disc fragment which is compressing the nerve on a very huge screen so without causing any damage to the nerve we can easily grab it and remove it and completely ease the nerve of the pressure so what exactly 
is the difference between open spine surgery and endoscopic spine surgery yes in open spine surgery probably you need to give a cut which is more than 2 to 3 cm probably extending up to 6 cm you rip apart the muscles go deep remove some amount of bone go to the nerve see the nerve with your naked eye and push away the nerve then remove the disc fragment but yes in endoscopic spine surgery hardly one centimeter or less than it you go with the endoscope to the exact point without damaging the muscles without damaging the bone you go exactly to the point where the disc is coming out you push away the nerve you remove the disc seeing it on a very big screen not with the naked eye so the chance of complications or the chance of injuring the nerve is very very little so the most amazing part of the endoscopic spine surgery is that in contrast to the open spine surgeries, you're not damaging any of the muscles or the bone. So the chances of re-herniation or the chances of your muscles and bone getting hurt is very, very less compared to the open spine surgeries. Why is it so great for the patient? So in endoscopic surgery, there is less than one centimeter scar, right? And you're not damaging any of the tissues like muscles and bones. So your job is done within few minutes. You can go home the very same day walking without any pain. There is absolutely zero blood loss when compared to the open spine surgeries and very few complications when compared to the traditional open spine surgeries. Soon endoscopic discectomy procedures might be the gold standard. So the literature also says that Endoscopic spine surgeries are far more better than traditional open spine surgery. Yes, we are not trading efficacy for small incision. We are doing with precision. So yes, if you are suffering from herniated disc, which is not being relieved by traditional medications or physiotherapy, yes, you are having difficulty in walking or do your, doing your daily routine activities, probably you might be an ideal candidate for endoscopic spine surgery. Get it done quick scarless surgery go home the very same day with zero pain any of the surgeries the major concern is regarding the recovery yes as we are doing less than one centimeter incision and precision oriented surgery with an endoscope the road to recovery is very very fast and yes you can get back to your normal activities within few days compared to the traditional open surgeries you have multiple discs right so one disc surgery might not ensure there are no further disc problems so you need to strengthen your core muscles to avoid further disc problem if you or someone you know who is suffering from this problem like sciatica probably we might give you an endoscopic solution yes big pain big problem small solution small incision Please subscribe to my channel to know further report advancement in spine surgeries and spine related issues.